Hello all, I don't know if you could see me here, but I'd like to do a tutorial really quick in Finale. Um, Finale 2014.5 is what I'm using right now. I don't have the money for 26, but and I don't have the operating system for it. But I digress. Anyway, we are going to talk about how to um, do uh, hiding stabs in Finale, how to hide the stabs in Finale that you are empty that you don't want at a certain system or page. Now this is the way I have found to do it. Um, let's say I'm going to add some more measures to this. First of all I'm going to add more measures so I can have you know plenty of space to experiment with this. So we're going to add 80 measures, so you just go add measures and then add 80 measures, and that's what I just did, and click OK. Then it adds the number of measures to you, uh, to your score. And what you want to do, now that you have everything selected, this concerto is for two pianos and orchestra. So I have piano number one and piano number two. I don't know if you could see that, but piano number one and piano number two right here. So what I'm going to do, now that I have it zoomed in, is I'm going to take Command, and I'm going to select with the arrow tool all of these. And then I'm going to go to the Staff tool. Immediately the Staff handles light up purple or pink. That lets you know that the staff menu is activated and you're able to um, do what you need to do with this. So you're going to go down and you're going to go uh, on the staff menu to hide empty staves or staves. And automatically these dashed or dotted lines show up letting you know that you selected these instruments to be hidden staves in your score. Those dashed lines indicate that there are other instruments that are hidden in your score. So we can do the same thing. Click the staff menu and hide. Okay, so I've hidden everything. Hold on. Except the two pianos in a couple seconds. So that's how you do that. And then this you can write a cadenza or a solo battle between the two pianos. And I think that's what I'm going to do for this composition. If you have any questions uh, about this, please feel free to shoot me a question. If you don't, that's okay. Um, still trying to get um, to show it on the print head of how you actually have... Um, there's actually some dashed lines that look like some oversized tremolos that appear at the bottom of... Um, sections, systems of scores. I'm um, still trying to figure out how to put that look on the score, but this is how you would actually separate out every, you know, everything. So you can actually do this with not just this page, but you could do this with every. Oh, I don't want to do it with all of them. Just, just that much. You can you can deselect just go that many and you can do this with any any of the instruments that you have you could say sh staves hide and it didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work and you have to make sure you've got certain things clicked in the staff style dialog box in order to have it work. But I have all of this. Staff. Hide empty stabs. Okay, so it just moves it on over. That's what it does. And it just moves this on over. You can put this, you can hide 
This because the dashed or dotted lines are the indicators of separate systems. So what you can do is you can go to staff, hide the strings. All right, so you hide the strings and you hide all of this. You hide the harp, staff tool, hide empty staves. Then you go down here, and this is good for solo breaks. Um, all right, and then hide staves. There you go. So you have a whole whole section of this that is able to be used just for the two pianos and no strings, no nothing. It's for solo part. All right. So if you have any questions, like I said, please feel free to consult the uh, comments or the Q&A, and I'll see you in the next video.